so today we're going to be learning how to take blood pressure and the two items you're going to need for this skill is your stethoscope and your blood pressure cuff. There's much, a lot to kind of go on with this thing. You have this, which is your Spigma monometer, and this is going to be hooked inside. I'm going to show you how to do it how the testers want. First, before you enter the room, you're going to want to make sure your stethoscope is on. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, how do you, what do you mean it's turned on? But, sorry my puppies. <laughs> but, um, how you know it's turned on is you're gonna put these inside your ear, make sure these are pointing out, not pointing in. You wanna make sure the stethoscope earpieces are pointing out. You're gonna to wanna to put them in, and then you're gonna know it's on if you can hear it. So you're gonna know, okay? So you're gonna tap this side, and if it's off, it's gonna be this way, and you're not gonna hear it as prominent. So you're gonna really wanna know and check that out, or your readings are gonna be pointless, okay? So before I go in, I'm gonna make sure I have all my materials and I'm ready to go and then we're gonna start, okay? All right, so my mom is gonna be my volunteer and we're gonna go ahead and just do our normal entrance, okay? So we're gonna knock. Hi, Crystal, I'm going to do your CNA today and I'm gonna to meet Kayla. We're just gonna check your blood pressure really fast, okay? Okay. Okay, awesome. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to make sure their feet are flat on the floor, can you put your feet flat on the floor for me? Mm -hmm. All right, before we do anything, we're going to want to sanitize our stethoscope and our earpieces with a um, wipe. When you are actually doing the test, you're going to sanitize the testers as well. That's like kind of like a nice little thing to do for them. So you're going to rip it open and you're going to sanitize it. I'm not going to use this because we need this because of the times we're in right now. But, okay. And I'm going to sit down. So that's all sanitized and ready to go. Okay. And if you look right here. This is gonna show you. So we are doing her right arm. So her right arm, her brachial artery, is going to be um, in line with this arrow right here. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put this on her. A good little way to find the brachial artery I have found is to go from the pinky and just kind of trace the pinky up and you'll be able to kind of palpate it. If you can't feel it, try having them put their arm out straighter and like, she popped it for me um, and try like kind of just palpating it like that but um, just play around with it you'll get more used to being able to palpate that as you do it more often all right so we have our sphygma monitor in place and we have the artery in line with the arrow right here so we're going to go ahead and begin I know in class I don't know if you guys have watched the video yet but how you read a blood pressure is by pumping it up I usually go to about 180 to 200 mmhgs and you pump it up to there and then you slowly release. That's the most important part is you slowly release this nozzle and you'll kind of have to mess around and find your own pace to go with. But the most important part is you not let it, the air out way too fast or way too slow. You have to get it just right. And when you hear the first thud, that's when it's gonna be recording. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, in the test you can miss up to eight MMHGs um, higher or lower. So that's kind of a nice little airway. I always say, whatever you hear, kind of maybe think too higher because they're the experts and their ears are probably trained to like hear it before you would. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start. So we're gonna sit right in front of them. Her arm is resting on the table, her feet are flat on the floor, and I'm gonna sit down as well. So I've helped the artery. And another thing I see a lot of students do that's not okay is making sure when you are placing this on the artery that it's under the cuff. That is like a big no-no because then it's like the sound is getting trapped and you might hear like the thuds and it's actually you making contact with the blood pressure cuff, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start. Remember, these are pointing away from your body. Okay, you're gonna put those in your ear. You might wanna start practicing. Uh-oh. You might want to start practicing in like a quiet room so you can kind of get your ears trained to doing it, okay? So I'm gonna take a look at this. Okay. So palpate the artery. I hear it pretty good. It's pretty strong. Make sure this valve is all the way shut before you even start. Okay, so you're gonna make sure you can see this big monometer. And here I go. slowly release all right so before you say anything because of privacy reasons and 
HIPAA, you are not allowed to say the blood pressure um, out loud. So right after you're done, you're not gonna say anything. You're gonna go and you're gonna record it. And um, that's the most important thing is, well, I see a lot of students, they like say it out loud right when they see it. They're like, okay, this is it. But a lot of the time too, like people mess up because they'll see this and they'll watch the arrow bounce and they're like, oh, that's me reading it. But sometimes the arrow starts bouncing before it actually starts thudding. So you really have to listen and listen to when you hear that first noise, okay? All right, so listen for the quirk off sounds, all that. Um, after you're all done, you're going to do your closing. So like I said, I haven't said the number to anyone yet. So I'm gonna get up, grab my supplies, put them in their area, all right? We're going to go and wash our hands as we normally do and then we are going to record and then you will hand your recorded thing to the tester your piece of paper to the tester and you know what you're doing if you have any questions let me know